I'm assuming our characters are gonna be okay, but they literally could be bombarded and die and die literally at any point. And with this show, it could literally be anyone. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. I really need to hop into this. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with 86 episodes 17 and 18. This one is called "I Won't Forget." Last episode, we had Lena defending the Grand Muir with uh, the AOK from Jerome to um, get gather the 86 inside the actual districts in order to defend it from this impending Legion wave. Meanwhile, we have similar situations going with other nations and Fiat as well, all getting ready to defend against this crazy Legion invasion. And then... Frederica was letting us know about her vision she had about the Grand Muir in San Magnolia when it looked like Kiri literally blew us up. I have no idea. I have no idea. I need to hop into it to find out what happens because I am very curious. I really am. Don't forget if you guys want full length early access to this episode, this show, and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. If you guys want to watch this live with me, uncut as well with a great community, come on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Darius. Follow all the other social medias as well. TikTok, um, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. 86, episode 17, I won't forget. Let's do this. I love how it's badass with the Legion attacking, but our defense is also badass. This entire thing has just been muted so far. No shots, nothing. This has just been straight juggernauts. And this is, oh yeah, those are old school juggernauts, huh? They look similar to our new Fiat ones, but this is the Grand Muir. This is Lena. This is Annette. This is everyone. And she's literally handling everyone because, oh my God, this is so badass. She's literally the leader of like. August 27th. Frederica was protected. Don't look, because there's so much death. The barrage hit their base. Oh my... Oh my god, that was a limb! At a singular moment. Or multiple moments throughout the day but morpho that's what kiri is 800 meter, 400 kilometers <laughs> we were able to actually see it really okay oh we're on like a conference call with the other nations we got the row aggressive Alliance of Wald? Okay. A train-based weapon? Wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> the way it's able to maneuver and oh my god. I don't know how we're going to be able to do that. Especially with how deep in the Legion territory it is, you know? That seems like suicide. So that's why they're... It's... I was literally just about to say it's the double side. It's a double-sided blade right there. We're damn near, it's like a suicide squad, damn near confirming the death of people who go in there. So that's why we need to have people who with the least likely chance to fail, ergo the most likely chance of survival, but also the least, the person that will be least missed as well. And the fact that both happen to be the same fucking squad is so bullshit. I feel so bad for these kids. <laughs> He was pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Yep, he didn't respond at all. <laughs> I agree fully. Yeah. 
I get that, and it's rough. It's embarrassing, especially with how proud. Oh, I mean, that is how they're used to being looked at. Hmm. At least they do still think about Lena. Especially Theo, because he had the biggest issue with her, you know? <laughs> I love the piano music that plays in the background during a lot of scenes like this, you know? I actually love it. You want me to give it to him again? That's the... That's the note he got in his... Like, juggernaut before he left. Why did you kill my brother? Give him back Nina Rance? That's the title of this episode, I, I won't forget. There's so much going on right now. There's so much that goes on in the show all the time. But now they kind of want to utilize his power. Now that they believe him that his power is like that. He was... Yeah, they could tell he's telling the truth, based, but that's crazy. Yeah, and they, that's insane. There's, yeah, he was damn near spot on with it, you know? <sighs> I don't like the shot, how he's upside down, too. The edge of the spear that pierces the Legion's defense. Spearhead. He was called the spearhead of the... And Magnolia, too. Wow, she's really telling it like it is, too. Wow, the cut into their voice when he said because he's 86. Wow, they're like voicing because he... I hate and love this, you know. They respect her for doing that, like that princess, but like it's like so much like Ervin, Hanji, you know. Damn, bro. So sad seeing all their faces again. Their tag as they go off. The symbolism in the show is insane, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I like how it looks like he's crying, but it looks like it's just the, <laughs> the dew on the window, you know? The shots in this, I'm telling you, are crazy. He's telling them straight up. If anyone's going to accept that, it's going to be Shin. It just sucks, you know? No hesitation either. You know that's not going to happen, Gritty. You know they're going to do it. That is a valid point. <laughs> 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 I get it. Oh, he's getting angry. She was so distracted. She has never heard him get like this, you know? Are close to zero. And we thought Fiad was different than, you know, Magnolia. Absolutely not. September 2nd. 
I respect that. That dude's been Shin's right hand since he's been part of the squad, you know? I respect him. You know it's not going to happen, though. This is such an interesting show when it comes to feeling bad, feeling excited, what to feel. I don't, I mean, damn near their literal impending deaths are coming, you know? It's actually crazy. Oh my god, this is, this is, yeah, this is where Lena was running that one time. Is this not Sand Magnolia? This is the next day? That's like, oh my god. All right, moving on to episode 18. This one's called The Truth Is. Very, very excited but sad knowing what's coming, what's coming, you know? That's kind of a bar, I won't lie. I sure hope so. You know, one day. That I appreciate. She's not trying to force them to do this. She just wants them to know, to actually realize what they're giving up or what they're doing before making that decision, you know. I'm guessing that's an engagement ring, possibly. A husband. Or a loved one. She did say she had many friends who died, you know. <laughs> Use what? It? Oh, they're hyping it up with an it. You know it's gonna be crazy. Okay. A prototype plane. So, a prototype plane. And we know their machinery and weaponry is already pretty damn amazing, so... I wonder what a prototype plane would look like. It's like a B-2 stealth bomber. The Noxer. Yeah, what does that mean? A ground effect? That uses ground effect? Hmm. I know, like what? Like a hover plane? In terms of tracking, that would definitely help with that. <laughs> what an awful name. That's the real question, Frederica. I think we should focus on how we get back, but I also think that could distract. Yeah, let's. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, you know? I get where he's coming from. Mmm. You? That's why you're my girl. I love this woman. Oh. Her. Good. Okay, pilot wings. I see you out here, Mrs. Grete. <laughs> I get where she's coming from, but we just want her to be safe, you know? This is truthfully super dangerous. I get it, though. For her, she's like, you guys are literally going into a suicide plan. Questioning a little bit, you know, the reasoning behind why she's like kind of flip flopping, kind of changing it up. But obviously, she doesn't want that. She obviously does want them to be destroyed, but.
It's a valid point. There's a difference between being alive and living, you know? Oh, he twitched. He's kind of striking a nerve. He's making some valid points. Aww. I said it from the moment we met Frederica that, that she would be one of the ones to break Shin's super hard layer, you know? Super hard outer shell. This is truthfully a, a sad a death suicide mission that we're going on. I, you know, I get it. This is horrible. As we cut to the Regan Lifes, the Regan Leafs. October 9th, and we're getting ready. It's got a new paint job, or they just dusted it. I don't know. Good. She's allowing it to happen, but she's not going to give up on them. I res that's why I fuck with this girl. That's far from a utopia. But remember this, and they've been cool too. They've been cool holding up the flag too. My man Ernst, hello. <laughs> Shout out to him. The, literally. They're a pivotal key and the... They're literally critical in the sur in the factors of surviving of the na this nation's survival. This is your highest priority mission. Stay alive. I was so doubtful of Ernst and a lot more people in the Fiat and this new Fiat, you know, empire. But uh, they're dope. They're dope. Some of them, you know, obviously I'm gonna disagree with some of them. But Ernst, Grete, Federica, Eugene, R.I.P. What is this, episode 18? So we got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We got the final mission and then the resolution. Oh no, I sure hope not. I sure hope they come back. God damn, my man Ernst. We got three entire kingdoms or nations fates deciding on this singular mission. We haven't even heard yet. Possibly the fate, the greatest operation in the history of mankind. Tell me we don't get attack on Titan vibes from this. Like going back to secure uh, Shiganshina season three. Come on, sharp sword, it cuts open a future for humanity. That sounds like some Ervin would say. It's so badass. And advance bravely, valiantly. My soldiers fight. My soldiers scream. My soldiers rage. <laughs> Begin the mesh and fire. Look at all these fucking. Oh, they can detect them. The AI. Oh, right before impact. This frontline battle is going to be so crazy. I hope all of our men can stay alive as long as possible. Delay them as long as possible. Because they, they're needed just as much as the 86 are for this. I love this song too. There's so many good soundtracks in the show. Raise on up. Look at that. Look at that. That talk about a runway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that thing is crazy. <laughs> Theo saying that. It's an honor to have you say that. <laughs> A thousand kilometers in nine minutes? I love this shot, how they are literally flying or next to the battlefield, just completely avoiding it. Oh my god, like on the left, you see nothing. On the right, literal chaos impending doom. They have no reason to have to want to do this, but they... These five, Theo, Anju, 
Fucking Shin, Raiden, Kurena. Stop smiling like that, Shin. This is actually, oh, one of the GOAT squads. Oh, I hate the sounds. I hate these sounds. Especially now knowing about that note. Oh, I hate that. Especially now knowing the note was from Eugene's sister, how sad that is. Oh my god. How much she blames Shin, and which obviously isn't his fault. Oh, it's just, it's horrible. So much to unpack from these episodes. I think the first thing I want to start with was Lena, because especially in Core 2, she has taken the back seat immensely, and Shin has definitely taken over as the main character, which I, I appreciate that and I really enjoy. But what? I mean, her house specifically, but San Magnolia as a whole seemed destroyed. So is that because she's at the Grand Muir and they still have like a I'm praying, but it seemed effectively like I don't know what's going on with them. But I do kind of like the fact that they're pointing out that the Federacy of Fiat is sticking around and putting like an ultimate last stand defense, which is definitely better and, and more respectable than I would say the San, the uh, the Alba would do. I really don't think that they would stay. I mean, the 86ers with Lena and, and everyone are doing that, but this this anime, this show is is fucking insane. And then everything going on with Shin and Frederica, I feel for that completely. I I, I feel both sides. Everything that's going on with Shin and Grete, like she also, and everything that's going on with Shin and the rest of the military. Damn near every one of the military is cool with them dying, except for a few select people. And it's so, it's so, I don't know, it's so complicated because their pride in their life stems from fighting. And, and, and I get that completely, but I also respect Greta's like reasoning. She's like, well, that's because that's all they know. Let's show them what actually is out there and then no matter how many years it takes i want them to truly understand that you know it's it's it, I res it's so deep but it's it, i don't know man he's smiling like this going into battle meanwhile ernst is this is literally the most crazy mission the, the most pivotal mission in the history of mankind and what was that 18 we got 19 20 21 22 23 five more episodes almost just hit my eye I could totally see it wrapping up in the next two or three episodes and then we have like a little wrap but i don't what's gonna happen the show is so unpredictable i really have no idea it's really fantastic i don't know but the nazir -er, however you pronounce it flown by greta fucking dope super amazing um i don't really know what else to say yeah yeah Aaron's did go full airman mode aaron aaron and airvin like we'll just go forward you know i love it i love it that is true that is true out of your you know yeah yeah i was i 100 percent you're talking about um san magnolia red or are we talking about fiat because fiat knows right that's why they're using it as well izanagi no we're gonna watch 1920 and the next we'll probably do the next five in the next one honestly and we'll do yeah 19 through 23 yeah because I want to do 21, 22, and 23 in the same one. That's that's what I'm saying. Giyad. That's what I said 100%. That's what I, that's what I said. Giyad. Yeah, the Fiat. You guys don't drive Fiat? <laughs> you guys you guys know. I just be... Uh, I'm a little dead. I'm a little dead. You guys, yeah, that's all I was saying. That's all I was saying the whole time. You guys, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out the Twitch if you guys want the live uncuts, all that. Twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. Follow the other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon, early access and full length, four episodes. Links are down in the description. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.